Hello and welcome to our Royal Youth for Christ Virtual Assembly. My name's Emily, I'm part of our school's work team. Normally we'd be in school with you doing this assembly, but we can't be here at the moment, so thankfully we've got the great technology to still be here with you. Um, if you haven't met us before, normally we'd be in schools doing assemblies, RE lessons, PSHE lessons, mentoring, um, and you might have seen us running a pulse group at lunchtime. Um, so as our name suggests, we are Christians, there will be some faith-based content in this assembly, but don't worry um, if you are of a different faith or you have no faith, because there'll still be lots in this assembly for you. So normally we'd get somebody up the front to help us um, with our first task in this assembly, but as we're not there with you today, I've got my lovely colleagues, Kean and James, who are going to help me. So I have got a challenge for them. I want them to build the best house of cards that they can in five minutes. And um, so let's see how they got on with that. So did you see how they got on? James um, had a good effort but found it quite difficult. Kian found it a bit easier and managed to build a better, taller tower. Um, as they were building, they found that the surface was quite difficult to build onto the blank on the blanket on top of the table. It was okay because there were grooves in it. But as they got to that second layer, the cards were quite smooth and shiny and it made it very difficult to build upon. And that brings us to the theme of this assembly. What do you build your life upon? So, um, this assembly we're thinking about what do you build your life upon? And so when they were building with those cards, they needed like a flat, solid surface to be able to build upon, to have any success in doing it. I don't know if you've ever tried to build a house before and um, I help my friends lay some foundations of their house and you have to get it. You have to dig it out and you have to get it really flat and smooth and then there's different layers of things you have to put down um, to be able to create a solid foundation before you can put any of the bricks and things down. And when we're thinking about our lives, we need some solid things in place to help us in life. Um, and we all build our life up, lives upon certain things. So you might build your life upon your hopes and your dreams and the things you want to do in the future. It might be your identity and um, whether you are a good son or a daughter. Um, it might be how you do in school. And it might be what other people think about you. And we all build our lives upon these different things. Maybe it's your appearance or your reputation. Um, there's so many different things. Now, 
as I said before, I work for Worry Youth for Christ, so as the name might suggest, we are Christians. Um, so I want to take a look at what the Bible says about building our life upon things, because there's this famous story in the Bible that Jesus told, and it's a parable, so it's a story he told um, about what we can be building our lives upon. So let me just get this. So it's from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27, um, and it says this. So then, anyone who hears these words of mine and obeys them is like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain poured down, the rivers overflowed, and the wind blew hard against that house. But it did not fall because it was built on rock. But anyone who hears these words of mine and does not obey them is like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. The rain poured down, the rivers overflowed, the wind blew hard against the house, and it fell, and what a terrible fall that was. So, what was the point of that story? So, in biblical times, everyone would have known not to build your house on the sand. Because if you've ever made your house, you've, if you've ever built a sandcastle, then you'll know that the water can just wash it away. And we all know that you need these solid foundations for your house. So what Jesus was saying in this passage is that we need to build our lives upon something solid. And what he says is the solid thing you should be building your lives upon is him and his word and his teachings. Because in the Bible it says that we are valued, that we are loved by God, and that we have been chosen by God. And I don't know whether you believe any of those things. I think whether you believe them or not, you are so valued, you are so loved, you are so precious. Um, and this story really warns us about we need to be careful about what we're putting our trust and identity in. As you might have heard stories about people who built up a big career and then something went wrong, they got fired and it all came crumbling down. Um, or they built their reputation up, maybe they were really famous and then they did something wrong and it all came crumbling down. Um, and it's important to do really well in life. It is important to um, have those aspirations and those dreams, but we need to get that balance right because if something goes wrong, we don't want it to be or to feel like it's the end of the world. Um, but we don't always hear about those stories who, stories of people who get what they want. So you might have heard of the cyclist, Bradley Wiggins. Um, so he was very famous um, a few years ago now um, and in the year 2012 he won the Tour de France and the London Olympics so they are the home Olympics and that was his fourth gold medal that he won um, and in an interview he said that he would never get to that place again he said he'd been as successful as he could be and he would never top that experience. Like it was an amazing experience. He achieved everything he wanted to, but he was never going to top that home Olympics on the Tour de France, all in the space of about six weeks. Now, if he just put his identity in being the best cyclist, then for a while he was the best cyclist. But over time, there'll be other people who win gold medals, maybe beat his records. Um, and if that's all he's built his life upon, then, that's not going to be great in the long term. But because he's got a family, he's got other things in place, then he can be sure of his identity. So I want you to think about what you put your identity in. Is it how you do in school? Is it your relationships with your friends or your family? I want you to think about how you can build really solid foundations for life so that if one of these things crumbles, you've still got them. And I want each of you to remember that you are valued and you are loved, that your worth doesn't come from your success or your exam results or your appearance. Um, and every one of you just has worth just because of who you are, because you're a human being. Um, so thank you for joining us for this assembly. Hopefully we'll get to see you in person really soon.